Welcome to another Blender shader tutorial. In this video I will show you how to create such a burn or transition effect in Blender. Let's get started. At first I want to switch to Eevee and switch the display to either Render or Material Preview. Then I exchange the model to a sphere for presentation purpose. Open a new window and set it to Shader Editor and create a new shader. So, we will start with a noise texture, which will provide the main structure for the animation. In front, connect a mapping node to be able to control the noise texture vectors. And in front of that, you can use a texture coordinate node for the vector data on generated or UV for example, if you have UVs of this model. But I will use a geometry node instead and use the position plug for the vector input. By this, every position on the geometry has its own vector on the noise texture, which makes it move around when you move the model. Alright, this is our main pattern. Now we have to add a math multiply node after that, because we want to multiply a mask with it, which we will create now. The mask will be an animated sphere bound to a controller object. So we will need a gradient texture node and in front another mapping and a texture coordinate node. Here you need the object output. For the object I add an empty object, which I choose as the target in the texture coordinate. Set the gradient texture to quadratic sphere. Now you have a wide sphere around your controller object as a mask. You can use a color ramp to adjust the gradient contrast. I want to have a pretty large wide area here. Then just multiply the output with the noise texture in the math node from before. Now you have a sphere around your controller object in which the noise is displayed. Everything else is black. With the mapping node of the gradient texture you can adjust the scale of the sphere. You should be able to select and deselect the whole object with the sphere radius. Maybe you have to tweak it a bit back and forth. You should be able to color the whole sphere in pure white when you come close enough with the controller object. If the values aren't high enough, you can multiply a value with the color ramp output to brighten the mask. In my case, I have to multiply it with 4 to have the whole sphere in a white color at close distance. Let's group the nodes a bit with Ctrl J to keep the shader tree more clearly structured and easier to read. Alright, now we need to create the burn effect at the border area of the sphere mask. For that, you need a math node set to less than. This node has a binary output. Points with values lower than the threshold are white and everything else is black. For the burn effect, you need a second less than node. The first less than node should have a slightly higher threshold than the one below. After you set both math nodes, you need another math node to subtract the second from the first less than node. Since they have slightly shifted border areas, you have now only the small border between them as a white mask, due to the subtraction. This method is very handy in general for any transition effects. Alright, the math of this effect is now done and we have a mask which splits the object in two parts. And additionally, we have a mask for the border between these two parts. Now you can mix two shaders and use the top less than node as the mixing factor. By this you have now a split object with these two shaders for the areas we defined before. And of course it's totally controllable with the empty object we prepared before. The result of the mix shader we want to mix again with an emission shader for example. And we use the result of the math subtract node as the mixing factor now. By this we just add the small border area on top of the mixed material as this yellow burn effect. Now you can change the alpha value of one of the shaders to zero to make it invisible. But when you're in Eevee you have to enable the transparency in the material properties first. And now you can play around with the noise texture to change the burn effect. For example you can increase the detail and roughness to make it more detailed or play with the scale. You can create different transition effects now with this method. At last I want to animate the noise texture to increase the burn appearance with the effect. For that you only have to increase for example the location vector in the mapping node. I will do that automatically with a vector math node. 
in the x value I just type hashtag frame to keep this value at the current frame, which will already animate this vector. But it's way too fast, that's why I just multiply it with a small value. You can play around with this by using rotation for example. Then at the end you can add some bloom to give a blurry shine around the burned area. And now you're finished with it. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have fun burning your objects to the ground and see you soon.